Amazon again making a splash that just may trickle down throughout the economy. Or will it? Yesterday, the trillion dollar company announced it will raise the minimum wage for all its U.S. employees to $15 an hour. But how much is $15 an hour really, especially here in Minnesota? We sat down with someone who works within this reality every day. In recent years, we've really been focusing on improving family economic stability and policies that support that. As its name would imply, the Children's Defense Fund looks out for the families, the children of Minnesota. We kind of take a comprehensive approach to the needs of children and families in Minnesota and try to um, advance policies and programs that support them. So today we threw an Amazon sized curveball at CDF Outreach Director Stephanie Hoganson. $15 an hour. What does that mean for an average person, particularly here in Minnesota? For a single worker, you know, that's just over $30,000 a year if you're working full time. And if you're a single mom with three kids, you're still sitting at, you know, 130% of the federal poverty guidelines. But clearly when it comes to numbers, it's not one size fits all. That's why we looked at the state cost of living table that shows an average family with just one child living in Minneapolis needs to make $20.56 an hour to cover basic living costs. Hoganson offers another indicator that accounts for public programs and tax credits that can work with wages to lessen the burden. And therein, she says, lies the secret. We have to kind of think of it as wages and work support programs working together to support families and communities and ultimately employers as well. Think Medicaid, child care and food assistance programs plus wages tackling day-to-day -day expenses. Keeping in mind, Hoganson says Minnesota has high transportation and child care costs. The last survey that looked at that across states had us at with the second highest cost of infant care. It's actually more than, you know, a year's tuition at the University of Minnesota. So with that staggering reality, Hoganson says bring it Amazon and all those who follow. Would the hope of the Children's Defense Fund be that Amazon has done this? We'd love to see other companies follow. Children's Defense Fund applauds any company that's looking to um, increase wages for families, particularly to that $15 level or above, because that's when you're really starting to get closer to meet those basic needs. Meeting those basic needs and also helping the future workforce as well. Right. Better education, better even nutrition will help our children. Right, and as long as we keep perpetuating, you know, the working poor, even mm -hmm. if you had two of those jobs, think about that. $60,000 a year, you can make a, a go at that, but you'd have to have two people doing it. No one right. person can work 24 hours a day and parents. No, no, and some people try to get pretty close to that. Yeah. They work multiple they work jobs, they're trying to do their best, raise children on their own, and it's just impossible. And just so it needs to be a really complicated equation, if you will. Right, well, here's something that I didn't, it's got me thinking, and that's always <laughs> dangerous. There is a Facebook post that's picking up